<laughs> so hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new, hello and welcome. I'm Jack but when I'm in drag I go by Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night and as you can read from the title of today's video we're going to be doing a charity slash a thrift store haul as well as a try on. So let's get into it shall we? So this time when I was shopping at a bunch of charity shops, my main goal and focus was to find some really pretty fabric. Recently I've decided as like a fun hobby and something to do like for myself is to learn how to sew. Sewing is one of the things that I've always wanted to do and just kind of always like put off and it turns out sewing is much harder than I thought it was going to be but it's something that I really want to do and I really want to make my own like drag outfits and just kind of have my own you know, creative flair into like outfits I can make. So this time I was really looking for fabric. And the first thing I ended up picking up is um a full pair of like turquoise blue net tool curtains. I thought this fabric would be so good to like practice sewing on or to make something nice and flowy or, you know, pretty much just to stuff under a dress to make like a nice mermaid like effect to it. And I think that was literally 50p for a fair, a fair, a pair of curtains. And obviously, you know, curtains have a lot of fabric to them. So I thought it was a good bargain. And yeah, I just thought I'd update you guys to say that I'm solely attempting to learn how to sew. And I've sewed a few of my costumes for my Halloween series, which will be starting on October 1st. So um, I now have some more fabric to um practice and play around with since sewing is a hella difficult girl. <laughs> Also, the outfit that I'm currently wearing, I picked up in a previous thrift stall haul, and I said I was literally going to wear this, like, red blazer jacket with, um, the girls out on show, and, uh, here we are, girl. Okay, so the next thing I ended up picking up, I was literally staring at, and mum was like, girl, that is so tacky, and then, um, you know, I had to have it. It is basically just a simple black dress, but it is, like, fully beaded and embroidered with all kind of different like cute little sparkly things and again I think this item was literally only 50p and the money's going to a good cause so um why not at some point I will wear it on my channel and yeah I actually kind of thought it was a little bit cute and I like tacky. <laughs> So the next thing I ended up picking up is just a simple scarf. Like I said, I was on the hunt for just kind of any fabric to practice sewing techniques and kind of, you know, trying to get into the world of all that. And I figured a scarf has quite a lot of fabric to it and I think all their scarves were like 10 or 20p. So I just grabbed anything with like some nice kind of metallic sheen to it and yeah, I might even wear it as a scarf or I was thinking I could try and make like a little bralette or something cute out of scarves since, you know, there's not a whole lot of fabric but it's enough to kind of play around with and hopefully make something like new out of it. You know, never know girl. The next thing I picked up is just a sheer simple little like brown coloured blouse and it does have little deers all over it and some purple hearts. Brown is one of them colours that I really don't own much of in my wardrobe and I just thought this would be something a little bit simple and kind of cute just to wear, you know, maybe with my breastplate and just like a bra with like a nice little sheer cover up over it and yeah, it was, you know, very cheap as most charity shops are and at some point you'll see it on my channel. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, I don't think I've ever seen in a charity shop before, since it is a full-on, like, corset belt waist cincher. I wear a black, like, steel-boned corset if I'm really gonna, like, go for it with my body for a transformation and, like, really want to cinch in my waist and everything. So, when I saw that they were selling, like, a really cheap little, like, nudish kind of pretty print kind of waist cincher, I figured, why not for 50p? And I actually really like the style of this, so I might wear it on, like, the outside of a dress at some point in the future, since... You know, I can always use all the help I can get to like cinch in my stomach and create a better illusion. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I picked up, I literally saw as soon as I walked in the store and I was like, please be a size 14 or a 16 or even a 12, like just fit me in some way, shape or form and I am taking you home with me. Since it is a really cute little gingerbread like mini dress and I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas in all honesty, but certain Christmas themed things just really like make me happy and for sure at some point this December you will see me rocking this little gingerbread mini dress and I just thought it was so cute and it made me happy to like see it and like all the little gingerbread men on it so um yeah at some point you'll see it on my channel in the future and it just spoke to me. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm fairly sure you guys know me pretty well by now. In every single clothing haul, I pick up one of my favourite prints, which is either going to be houndstooth, snake print, or floral. You guys know I love florals so much, and this one is in a kind of, like, different style than I would normally go for, since it has, like, a solid navy kind of underlining slip dress to it, with, like, a kind of sheer mesh floral overlay. What I was originally thinking was to kind of cut the navy dress out and wear this as, like, a sheer kind of cover-up moment, but, um, yeah, I'll see how it fits, see what it looks like on, and then maybe experiment and cut stuff out and, you know, play around with it, but, um, yeah, I thought it was something a little bit different and you guys know me, florals are my thing. Okay, so this next dress, I'm not like too sure how well it is going to actually fit on my body since generally my proportions, like when I'm in drag, is for a UK size 14. So generally I would go for a 14 or a 16 and then I'd maybe dabble back down to a 12 if I'm not going to wear my hip pads, if it has like a little bit of stretch or I kind of like the style of it. And this dress is in a size 12 but it doesn't feel like it's got like any stretch and it is silky so it could show all like the wrong areas of my body but I did quite like the print of it and it was something a little bit different for me since it's like a nice green what kind of print is this just like green stripey animally kind of vibe to it it gave me full on like jungle queen anyway and I don't really own anything in like a nice emerald green so um yeah, hopefully it actually fits my body and looks nice and flowy and kind of I can wear my corset with it and it will give like good body illusion still since I don't think it's got stretch for my hip pads. But um, yeah, it's something a little bit different and you know, charity shops are very affordable. So why not girl? Treat yourself. <laughs> okay, so this next thing I picked up, I have no idea why I would ever buy it. Since generally, when I'm filming, I have like three different filming lights on and my room gets so warm. So, you know, can someone remind me why I bought a full-on black faux fur coat? You know, it's not really like a thing that I would imagine myself wearing while I'm in drag and, you know, melting my tits off as is. But, um, yeah, I picked up a black faux fur coat. So, um, at some point you might see me wear it. I will probably be like sweating my wig off, but, um... You know, I got a, I got, got a coat. <laughs> also down that same line, the next thing I picked up is like a thicker jacket in like a weird brown kind of embroidered front panel, shoulder paneled everything moment. Again, I don't really wear coats or jackets all that often on my channel since, you know, I feel like a dress is more flattering, it's more freeing and it's hella warm when I'm filming, but um, you know, I could wear this brown jacket similar to like how I'm wearing this from a previous charity shop haul, like just over, you know, a breastplate and a bra, but um, yeah, I don't really know why I picked this up, but you might see at some point in the future, girl, like, I'll find a use for it. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I picked up is also one of them things that I don't think I will ever wear on my channel or... Don't know really why I picked it up. I think I was swayed by the fact that like all this section that I was shopping through was literally like 50p. So anything that said like size 12, 14 or 16, I just ended up grabbing girl. Since it is like a um another faux fur moment, but this one is more like a waistcoat rather than like a full on coat since it doesn't have sleeves to it. But um, yeah, I don't really know when I'm gonna wear it or you know, a particular use for it off the top of my head, but um, you might see it at some point in the future, when I can think of a, a reason to wear this girl. <laughs> so you can tell this time when I was shopping, I was literally picking over like the leftover scraps. Since obviously, recently we've all been in lockdown and charity shops have been closed. And this was like the first day it was open, so I'm fairly sure I just grabbed anything just to grab something. Since the next thing I ended up picking up is just like a little kind of stretchy headscarf moment that you would like tie a ponytail up in or, you know, kind of tie your hair up in but I thought it'd be kind of good for when I like properly glue down my wigs I could use this as like the headband strap to tighten it while it dries but um yeah I now own like a um, very specific use little headscarf but I do quite like the print of it but um yeah again I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it but I have it <laughs> Oh, so this next thing I was so excited to see in the store. Recently, I have been back into robes and nice flowy things. Since then, I can just literally wear my breastplate and kind of chuck on a robe. It looks super cute and like seductive. And I own literally every single color of one of these things, but this color that I saw. So when I walked in, I was like, 
Girl, hand it to me. I want that. That is mine right now. It is a nice, deep, navy blue kind of a geisha robe. Like I said, I own literally every other colour, and I got them all from eBay for like seven quid, and this one was 25p. So I literally walked in and was like, the only colour I don't own is navy. Perfect. 25p, bargain result, and yeah, I really like these robes. They're actually super comfortable, and I've worn them multiple times when I'm not in drag since... They're just like one of the things that you can chuck on after like a bath, shower, and have like a full-on pamper day in one, and yeah, you'll probably see it on my channel at some point since I love these robes. Okay, so this next thing I picked up I think was only 10p, and I'm praying that it was only 10p, since it is a sheer little strip of fabric that's meant to be like a little like neckerchief kind of scarf moment, but um, yeah, I don't really know why I picked it up. I genuinely don't like it, but um... The next thing I picked up was just this little bit of fabric, girl. Okay, so this next thing that I ended up picking up, I literally walked in and I was like, oh, it's like they know me very well. Since you know that previous, like, navy floral dress, literally right next to it was this next garment, which is a purple snake print skirt. It was literally my two favourite prints, like, next to each other, and I literally grabbed it and turned around and mum was like, you own too many snake print things. <laughs> and I was like, girl, never. This one is nice since it has like a nice like ruching kind of pull tie detail, but it is quite a long skirt than my usual style. You guys know me, I like a little bit more of a um, party girl aesthetic to my drag, but I did like the kind of gold pop with the purple kind of eggplanty color skirt, but um, yeah, it's something a little bit cute. And if I do want it shorter, I'm hoping the kind of tie kind of ruching does it, or if not, I'm just gonna hack the bottom off and um, make it slutty. <laughs> and then you know the saying, saving the best for last? I'm fairly sure I've done that in the reverse in this video since the last thing I picked up is another one of those things that I have no idea why I picked it up or when I will ever wear it, but it is another full on like trench coat and um, is in a really weird like soft purpley pink with like gold kind of detail to it and it's not shiny. It's not like sparkly and that's generally what would like be a redeeming feature for me with something that I picked up. But um, this is just like a plain matte full on coat. So I really don't know when I'm going to wear it or why I picked it up. But um, I have it now, girl. Let me know what you think with it like on my body since, yeah, I don't really know what look this will ever suit. But I have one. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little charity slash thrift store haul. Literally, it was like the first day any of the charity shops were open around me. And I said to mum, when they open, I want to go shopping and just see what little bits of fabric I can get to practice sewing on. But um, I ended up just picking up a random assortment of junk. Not gonna lie. But nevertheless, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which garment was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday at 10 p.m. But like I said, make sure you hit that notification bell to tell you about bonus days. Also, my Halloween series will be starting from October 1st, so I'm hoping to do 31 transformations all throughout October, which is pretty much why recently I've kind of been a little bit MIA on social media and not uploading as often to YouTube since there's been some secret looks I've been filming behind the scenes that have been taking up my entire time, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I hope you're excited for my little Halloween series coming soon. Bye! I'm literally filming this at like 3 in the morning. I am like, dead girl.